Hi there. My name is Jordan Caulfield. I'm with Life Size Communications. Um, I've been invited to speak to you at this uh, webinar today uh, about how Life Size fits into the UC story. First of all, I'd like to thank Unified Communications for inviting me to speak at this webinar. Unified Communications are some fantastic folks to work with, one of our best partners um, for Life Size. And um, again, thank you very much. So. Um, one of the first things that comes to mind when people start talking about UC is Microsoft Link. So um, I'd like to tell you that um, life size fits into the Microsoft Link story very well. Um, actually, right out of the box, for free, we can uh, work with Link. Nobody else can claim this. Also, with our Team 220 series and up, you can host a four-way continuous presence call with a mixture of Link and standards-based endpoints. We are actually the first video conferencing manufacturer to be qualified for Link. This is an actual screenshot from the Microsoft TechNet website. You can see the URL up at the top. You can also Google Microsoft Link Life Size and it'll get you there. Um, note the date on the far right for the Team 220, the qualification date, March 2011. It's been quite some time that we've uh, been qualified to work with Link. LifeSize actually has a very good relationship with Microsoft. We meet with them pretty regularly to discuss the future for video and how Link will work with LifeSize and LifeSize will work with Link, etc. We're actually on their non-disclosure agreement. So we're, we have some forward-looking knowledge as to where Link is going. Um, our engineers actually attend some of the really down in, uh, you know, deep dive Link trainings. And we also have uh, many of our endpoints in some of the Microsoft business centers. So Microsoft and LifeSize have a fantastic relationship. Nonetheless, there are some important things to consider with Link. As ubiquitous as it is, for the most part, Link utilizes a proprietary video codec. It's called RT Video. No standards-based video conferencing manufacturer really supports this natively with their endpoints. As such, everybody in this industry has to transcode in order to accomplish some of the important calling features that Microsoft does with Link. These are the three resolutions that Link supports. I tried to kind of give you a little example of what those look like. Um, SIF, VGA, and 720p. You'll notice the two on the left are uh, kind of four by three ratio, whereas the one all the way on the right is a 16 by nine. So out of the box, uh, a couple slides ago, I mentioned that we support Link natively and it's free. Well, we can do that SIF calling um, on the left uh, because that is the standard audio or standard video codec, H.264. In order to accomplish the next two, we have to do this transcoding and that's uh, the RT video codec. Um, we have a product that will allow you to accomplish that and I'll tell you about that in a second. One of the biggest features that you pick up um, with the RT video in Link, just the way they have everything set up, is the ability to participate in an AVMCU call. And the AVMCU is uh, basically how you have a large scale meeting with Link where everyone sees the person that's speaking. And as that person speaks or changes to a new speaker, then that, that person switches in and everybody sees them. You can have over 100 people on that call. Very cool because with the AVMCU um, and with this product I'm about to talk, talk about, you can now have a life-size endpoint participate in one of those really large link calls. And uh, the product that allows you to get to those second two resolutions and that second set of features really kind of bring the link environment alive with uh, conference-grade endpoints, like our life-size endpoints, is the uh, UVC video engine. And what we do is we basically transcode that RT video to something that is natively supported, and that's our H.264. So we, we can take that HD and VGA into a video conferencing uh, call. Pretty cool because it's a shared resource for all of uh, your life size endpoints. So say you have four life size endpoints and you want to maybe, maybe bring in an occasional link user, um, you could have one instance of this UVC video engine. Um, and be able to bring in and share that across all four, be able to bring them into each one of those calls separately, not at the same time. Or you could have multiple UBC video engine instances for multiple 
calls going on simultaneously with Link. So we, we scale to fit your needs very easily. Also, um, with this, uh, you can bring in Microsoft Link Participant as well as other standards-based video conferencing endpoints. So basically enables uh, Link to be a uh, part of the life-size HD topology. So very cool. So I, I've got a pretty good uh, video that uh, was put together by our marketing department. I'm going to play for you now um, that video. And uh, it kind of shows you how it all works together. So I want to show you that. Hey, good morning, Emily. Morning, Kurt. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. You ready for this call? I'm ready to do it. Fantastic. Hey, Charles. Hi, Charles. Good morning, Kurt. Hey, um, what's up? We're just waiting for a few more people, and then we're going to get the meeting started. Okay, Kurt, sounds good. Good morning, Kurt. I've got my part of the presentation done and I'm ready to go. All right, it looks like we're ready to go ahead and call Ellen. Showtime. Oh, Kurt, I don't think that Ellen at LCS has Link. No problem. We can connect with him too. Let's get set. This is a huge call with LCS Medical. Need everybody to be on their A game. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Good morning, Ellen. It's good to see you again. Good morning, Kurt. Hi, everyone. Let's get started. All right. So just wanted to kind of show that to you. That's uh, how it all works together. So if you're accustomed to how Link works today in your environment, um, bringing a life-size endpoint and pairing it with a UVC video engine is going to be something that you're uh, not, for not foreign to be very similar, very similar uh, way of doing things, very similar work, workflow as well. So how does this all work? How, what do you need? How do you get this UVC video engine? Well, it's just one of the several very cool options under our very new UVC platform, which is actually the industry's first integrated virtualized platform. This is direction we're moving with uh, all of our infrastructure solutions. Now all functionality previously available as single function box is now available in a virtualized option under the umbrella of the UVC platform. So they're basically different little applications that you can run under this same platform. So I can tell you about a couple of them, but uh, under that, you, you know, start out with the UVC video engine, you can try something else out that might be more fitting, so or more, might be fitting as well. So um, that works uh, in both a virtualized and hardware solution. So um, you know, that, those are your options. So you could start out, if you have a VMware shop today, you can, you can trial this as soon as this webinar is over with any of your life size endpoints today. Very, very cool. Um, and then we're also Hyper-V as well. Um, that's recently just announced. And then if you don't have a virtualized environment, we, we actually manufacture hardware appliances you can run this on um, and, and try it out as well. So, um, how does it all work? Uh, well, that's uh, that's one of those components there, the Microsoft Link component. Um, and then what, what other options do you have? Uh, well, so we have this uh, recording and streaming solution called Life Size UVC Video Center. Uh, pretty cool, because uh, it allows you to record and stream to up to 1,000 people. They can view it live or on demand. And this happens to be what I'm recording this video with right now. And we also have uh, the first virtualized continuous presence bridge 
It's another one of the applications that you can get with a UVC platform. So you can um, bring in multiple participants, get 720p um, video, 16 on screen at once, and have all these uh, different virtual meeting rooms. Start out as uh, with as few or as many ports as you like. That's really kind of the best part about this. It's, you're not locked into a monolithic box. It does one thing. And then if you want to upgrade, you have to forklift that out. No, this, this can be added on as you see fit and as you grow. Very powerful there. Rounding out the UC options um, from life size is the mobile calling solution, ClearSea. Um, this allows you to bring HD video calling to your PC or Mac, and then also be able to bring in up to over 40 devices, different devices. Um, very cool, it's also got built-in firewall traversal. Some of those devices uh, are exhibited here. Um, we're light years above the competition. Um, it's, it's worth noting that right now, video calling is not truly supported uh, via Microsoft uh, Link. So right now that's Mac or PC only for video calling. Um, whereas uh, with our ClearC product, um, you can essentially replicate a UC environment as well. So, so say, say you're, you're liking everything you've seen thus far, but you don't want to you know, explore Link, um, we can certainly come up with a custom tailored solution that would fit you um, and your needs. Paired with a VoIP vendor of, of your choice, um, ClearC and some of our endpoints and potentially the UVC multipoint, you can realize today with products that we manufacture, a true UC environment, really any device, anywhere, um, and be able to accomplish any of the business needs meetings that you have. So um, even if you're up there, uh, you know, in a construction job, you can you can relay back real time video of what what's going on there. So pretty cool. Thank you very much for your time. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to assist. Thank you very much. Have a great day.